Come on in to Congos' tour bus. Hey, what's up? I'm Danny from Congos. I am Dylan from Congos. Yeah, and we're on our 1929 part one tour. It's uh, winter in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. We're sharing this bu bus with uh, the fitness guys. <laughs> they're a band called Fitness, they're not just fitness guys. Um, yeah, why don't you look around? Yeah, we're gonna give you a little tour. There's actually 12 of us on the bus. So there's four band members in Congos. Um, four crew members for Congos and then three band members in fitness and one crew member. So there is not a lot of space. We are jam-packed. Yeah. So right now we're in the front lounge. Why don't um, we start with uh, Mo, our stage manager, is obsessed with labeling. Uh, so you can check there. This clock does not work. So he's labeled it not the right time. <laughs> Even though you learn that once, you usually remember it, but he feels like the need to make things permanent, you know? This is where we keep the Instant Pot. This is where you make rice and potatoes and stuff like that. When you're in a fucking city that's not like Chicago, where people can cook here. Uh, this is where we keep bananas. <laughs> FYI. We ran out of space. There was, you know, we don't like stuff on the counters, even though you see stuff. It's mostly for coffee um, and coffee contraptions. So Mo put bananas in a cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> This is obviously a television, and so is that one, but this one's bigger, so it's definitely the better one. Uh, this is the first tour <laughs> I've played video games on it, because uh, a friend of ours works at PlayStation, so he gave us a bunch of games, and I got addicted to God of War, and I feel like I'm 12 years old again. Um, you get to beat the shit out of giants with axes and stuff, so at 2 in the morning, you know where I'm at if we're in the middle of winter in some backwoods road in Canada. We haven't got any multiplayer stuff going at the moment. Uh, me and Mo sit up here playing God of War, and the fitness guys play uh, Red Dead Redemption. And um, Kenny, their guitarist, is teaching Max, who's a little bit older, uh, how everything works. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a quote from our uh, production manager because it says, "Seats are for arses, not bags." Sincerely, the standing, awkwardly leaning, which means because. There's so many bags with 12 people, some people just end up putting them on the chairs and then there's nowhere to sit. Um, this is a... this is... I don't know whose bag this is. Yeah. They're, They're breaking, breaking the rule. They're kicked here. off. No more on the tour. Also, you don't really want to be standing in case the bus driver breaks yeah. So, as you can see, touring is very environmentally friendly. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, that's cleaning supplies. Got... we'll start here, we got... Shoes, all shoes at the end of the night uh, usually go in here so they're not just out in place. Um, let's see. Oh shit, we gotta talk about the lentils. Oh yeah. This is how we're very, this is, a, I don't know how many tours we've done, a lot. We've toured a lot, so we've got our little systems down, and one of them is a lentil system. We go to Costco and we buy like uh, these Indian Madras lentils, and they're good because at three in the morning, some stage is not open, you know. And then we, we pay for them all and then we charge people. So this is called the lentil list. And as you can see, Colton Bootery and Morley Simon Gordon are in a dead headed race to the finish line. This is a um, more stuff. We've got Jameson, some wine and a, an infrared heat lamp. Um, so we can be like chickens, you know, brooding. Yeah, we use that. Uh, it's really good for pain and stuff. This is uh, Lefroig 18. It's my bottle. They don't make it anymore. And I go on the honor system, basically. I trust that people just don't steal it. And then I dole it out like as some sort of a patronizing parent. As you can see, literally everything is labeled. Plates, bowls, cups. Um, cleaning supplies, utensils, coffee, a whole heaping fuck of tea, um, espresso. He even labeled the trash, which is like totally unnecessary. The bus driver came on and he goes, um, he's from the south, and he goes, man, I'm glad he labeled the trash, otherwise I wouldn't know the fuck it was. <laughs> so Johnny um, used to live in Atwater in Los Angeles, and there's a guy there that does like uh, small roasts of beans. He goes and finds all the beans around from around the world that he really loves and he does small roasts and it's like an email list um, that you sign up for and you can buy them in small batches. So before he left, Johnny, and he rides around on his bike and delivers them to people. 
So before we left, Johnny bought like 15 or 20 of these bags. It's called Tristero Coffee. And um, we're out. This is the last bag. So we had to stop today in Chicago and get a bunch of different um, bags. That's how we have been going through this like crazy. Yeah, we got a grinder. We don't have a scale. We're so, uh, you do four, you know, we do 14 seconds for one of these pots here. We set a little grind. And then this is like a, it's just a drip coffee maker, but it's got a little shower head. So it evenly distributes the water. And then, you know, it's real rock and roll shit. Fridge is a, uh, it's a pretty healthy fridge, actually. Most of the beer and stuff oh, yeah. is kept in ice boxes over there. Underneath all that crap. This is water esque, so this is beer. But yeah, the fridge is, um, yeah, there are, a lot of, there are a lot of kind of health health freaks on this tour. So, not the Red Bull, obviously. Um, but we've got eggs, we've got arugula, we've got green drinks, we've got fitness bread, um, we've got some lagers. And Fruits and veggies and cheese and stuff. Yogurt. Uh, vodka. We have Zabrovka, that's Polish, Polish vodka. Polish bison grass vodka. Russian standard vodka. Drumsticks, ice cream. Um, an ice pack for if anyone gets injured. Sprains an ankle, I think. The bathroom. self-explanatory um, one rule on the bus is no solids whatsoever not even toilet paper down the toilet because it costs $250 sometimes or more to empty the tank um, of solids so we actually came up with a name well Mo our stage manager did so in public to say that you need to go use the bathroom for number two uh, to take a shit you say I need to go 250 because that's how much it costs, because you know you're not supposed to do that on the bus. You can so also, now, yeah, now he rates his, that was more like a 500, <laughs> or this is a 500 day or a 750 day. He gets pretty detailed about it. Other tours, it has been Tour Manager Central, but Jason, our TM, gets out of the bus as quickly as he can, and he gets established somewhere. It's just so, too many people, so yeah. right now it's like just random shit. Although on days where we don't have a, a nice production office, in the venue, Jason, our tour manager, will come and He'll work here, um, or it's another workstation, but this is actually a slide out, but since we're parked on the street, we can't do it. A slide out is when this side of the bus electronically um, slides about three feet that way, so it actually span expands this into a really nice big living room, which is actually okay for 12 people. Right now, it's very claustrophobic. There's 12 bunks, um, six on each side, split up by this partition here. Um, during the day, everyone keeps their shit in their bunks, or should. They should be moving their bags into their bunks so that we have both free front and back lounge, and you'll see when we get back there. Another rule that people are not following. <laughs> um, they're pretty comfortable and cozy, but after six weeks, you're really sick of it. Um, I sleep pretty well. On, yeah. like, I'm, maybe it's, the, it's like being back in the womb, you know? They've got curtains. The curtain closed means that you're on the bus, so when bus call comes around, you know, the tour manager, if it's late in the morning, or sorry, early in the morning, they don't need to check on you um, and like wake people up to let the driver know that everyone's on the bus. You just close your curtain, it means you're here. If you close your curtain while you're not here, tough shit. <laughs> Back lounge, they have these, all these electronic doors. Um, is it air? Is it compressed air yeah. that does it? It's, and it's, they uh, often break or they take a really long time to open or close and some people get like stuck. And it's, they're quite annoying. I mean, a lot of people would prefer going back to just the regular door, but people slam doors while people are sleeping, so they open and close like this. It's a good time to insult somebody. Yeah. Pretty good. Somebody's been stealing hotel slippers. I guess they are for the taking. All right, so this is the back lounge. So we can't give people too hard of a time for leaving this shit back here because it is 12 people and, I mean, this is the size of a studio apartment, basically. So if you can picture 12 people living in a studio apartment, uh, we're doing a pretty good job. Um, We've got uh, more yoga mats on this tour than I've ever seen on any tour. 
Yeah. Maybe Young the Giant. Young the Giant, I think they had an equivalent amount of coconut yogurt. This is for coats. All winter coats. That's what makes this tour even harder. Oh, there we go. That's Max. How's it going? Hey. <laughs> this is Max from Fitness. He was following the rule of uh, closing the curtain while in his bunk. Is this digital tour bus? My man. We had, we had what, I, I can only presume is maybe one of the finest episodes ever of the Cool Tour Bus. Am I right? <laughs> We've heard about it. We've heard the legends of the... Keep showing skin like this. We're going to yeah, top yeah. yours, man. <laughs> this is going to be the best digital tour bus. So what do you guys carry on? <laughs> so for those of you guys that don't know, Max is the lead singer. Just want to make that clear. The lead singer of a band called Fitness. Uh, they're the opening band now. He's also the lead singer of a band called Eve Six. Um, and we just want to emphasize that he is the lead singer and not anything else. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely in the lead. <laughs> band meetings, phone calls, that kind of thing will happen back here. Uh, Kenny and Max, they have dominion over this TV because they're obsessed with uh, Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> and um, yeah. That's yeah. about it. Um, personal conversations or phone calls, yeah, often happen back here because it's furthest removed from front lounge. There's quite a big noise barrier with the air conditioning on and the generator running. Uh, so There's a lot of like uh, non-single people on this tour, so it's not like the, the hookup back lounge or whatever, you know? Yeah, you wouldn't. This is not pretty inviting. Yeah, it's not very inviting anyway, so... <laughs> So we are Kongos, that's K-O-N-G-O-S. Uh, we're on the 1929 tour, which means we've just released a new album called 1929, part one. And we are on tour now around the North America, around North America. Um, so come see us at the show. Yep. But for now, you gotta go. Bye.